Mark Ruslander was born on August 23, 1932 in Buffalo, New York, son of Marcus and Marie and brother to Dan. At an early age, he was inspired by political and musical entertainers like Fred Allen and Tom Lehrer. In grade school, he had a reputation as class clown and maintained that title throughout high school. In addition to comedy, Mark had a natural passion for music. After high school, he moved to Washington, D.C. with his family, where he developed a fascination with politics. In 1953, he enlisted in the Marine Corps. After completing boot camp, he was transferred to Camp Pendleton, where he received advanced infantry and communications training. He received his military occupational specialty as a communicator. Mark was assigned to a Marine Guard company at Naval Air Station at Sugi, Japan. Shortly after, he found himself performing in piano bars with his band of fellow Marines during their off-duty hours. His final duty station was at Camp Caitlin, Oahu, Hawaii. He served as a radio operator assigned to the 1st Air and Naval Gunfire Liaison Company, calling in targets for naval gunfire exercises. Returning home in 1956, Mark began performing stand-up comedy at Carol Arms Bar in Washington, D.C and changed his name to Mark Russell for stage purposes. He moved uptown and into the Shoreham Hotel in 1961 for a risky two-week gig. The Marquee Lounge became the place where politicians would come to hear his jokes. His stay lasted for 20 years. Starting in 1975, Mark appeared in a comedy special every two months on the public broadcasting service. His work for PBS spawned numerous requests for live performances, which took him to every state in the nation. Between performances, he found time to co-host the network comedy show Real People, and during presidential campaigns, he served as a commentator on Good Morning America. Mark thrives on newspapers. He reads three or four a day to constantly keep his material fresh. He is also a writer of music and song for children's theater. The play Teddy Roosevelt and the Ghostly Mistletoe premiered in December 2009 at the Kennedy Center. He continues to write jokes though, keeping his website up to date with the latest political satire. In 2004, he was inducted into the Buffalo Broadcasters Hall of Fame, an honor he highly cherishes. Mark still lives in Washington, D.C. with his wife, Allison, and is the father of three and the grandfather of seven. As a television icon for over 30 years, Mark is one of the nation's most loved political comedians. His style of piano-pounding satire has had the nation laughing for decades. John Wayne led Yvonne De Carlo into the Mekong Delta <laughs> so that you could stand there in some crummy school cafeteria that smells, <laughs> smells of library paste and vote. Thank you very much. Get out there, man. Thank you. The United States Navy Memorial presents the 2012 Lone Sailor Award to Mark Russell.